guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something a little spooky. So, <laughs> if you don't like ghost stories, you don't believe in ghosts, you don't believe in spirits or demons or anything of that nature, this video is definitely not for you. So I suggest you just hit that back button and get on right on out of here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna share an experience that I had. Uh, I'm laughing because I'm nervous. It's not because it's funny. Um, and it is completely 100% true. My husband was there. He can attest to the whole thing. Um, I'm just gonna give like a little bit of background to why I believe what I believe and think what I think about stuff like this. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about like ghosts per se because um, being a Christian, you know, you're taught like ghosts don't exist, people die, they go to heaven or they go to hell, whatever. So, but I definitely believe that demons exist and I definitely believe that there can be sinister spirits. But I've also felt like non-dark or sinister spirits before too. And I've kind of dealt with this like on and off throughout most of my life since I was a child. my One of my very first memories, I think, as a child was of a situation like this. It was probably about, let's see, probably about four years ago, three or four years ago. I was going through a rough time. Um, my health was having a lot of issues and my anxiety was really bad due to that. Um, I was just having a hard time like coping with a lot of different things. And I felt a lot of negativity around me. Um, so anyway, so it was this one night. I was asleep. Um, my husband and I, we sleep with the TV on just because we both like the background noise. And, the, and I enjoy the light because I'm slightly scared of the dark. <laughs> um, and we were both asleep. It was around 3 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> of course, which... Um, if you guys don't know, 3 o'clock is supposed to be like the witching hour when the negative spirits come out to taunt you and mess with you and whatever. So it was it was about, I want to say it was like probably around 3.15. Um, I was laying in bed, I was asleep. Um, and I'm pretty much usually a heavy sleeper, but because of like my anxiety and stuff, I was having like hard a hard time sleeping at night. So I was kind of like on edge like anytime... My husband would move or you know the air would kick on or whatever like I would wake up or kind of stir in my sleep so uh, and we also slept with the door closed at this time too um so I'm asleep I'm laying in bed I'm facing the wall which is the opposite of where the door is so the wall is like this side and the door is on this side of the room so I'm facing the wall and I heard this clicking noise it was just like one loud click and it woke me up so I I rolled over and I looked at the direction of the door and the door was open about probably about this much it wasn't like wide open it wasn't just cracked it was open and I immediately freaked out because my first thought was that someone was in the house someone was in the house um, which, if they were, why would they not just run in there and kill us or whatever? So, I wake up my husband. I said, someone's in the house. And he uh, he was like, what? what? You know, like, he's out of it, completely, like, dead asleep. And I just, like, woke him up, like, someone's in the house. And he's like, what? And I said, the door just opened. And he looked at the door, and he said, are you sure? And I said, yeah, I heard it open and I turned around and it was open. And knowing that we closed it when we went to bed. So as we're sitting there and we're discussing the events that had just occurred, the door closes right in front of our eyes. The door went from this to close and it closed and it clicked close. It was not just like pull close or like air drafted close. Like it was closed <laughs> and so at this point I'm like about to cry I'm so freaking scared and he's freaked out so he kind of sits up in the bed and we're both like kind of in shock and like 
not sure what to do, like, we're like, you know, looking at the air, is the air on, it, did it, you know, somehow make the, the door open and close, like, you know, because sometimes that can happen, like, when the air kicks on, like, doors will kind of jar open, but I mean, it went from being, like, latched, like, closed, to being open, to being closed, and we both were, like, really freaked out, so he got up, and he opened the door, he turned on the hall light, he went out there, he, you know, searched around, um, there was no one there, like, no one was there that we saw, um, and it was just really bizarre, because the door very much opened, very much closed, and we saw it with our own eyes, it was very apparent that the door had opened and closed, so, he, you know, being a man, and just being like, oh, you know, whatever, it was probably this or that, um, even though he will say now that he thinks it could have been something a little paranormal, um, he just goes back to bed and goes back to sleep, like, all willy-nilly, and here I am, laying in bed, like, trying not to cry, and trying to go back to sleep, and my anxiety is through the roof, and my heart's like, like, beating in my chest, um, and I managed somehow, some way, to eventually go back to sleep, so, um, yeah. So the next morning we woke up and went on about our day and you know we discussed it and talked about it and um, that was not the first or the last experience that we had in that house or after that. Um, we both have kind of experienced weird things on and off throughout our lives so um, maybe I'll tell those stories another time but I figured since it's Halloween I might scare, share, scare, share a spooky little story with you guys so let me know what you think. Do you think it was the air? Uh, the air wasn't on. Do you think it was a burglar who changed his mind? Or do you think it was a spirit coming to haunt us and taunt us and scare us? Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I definitely want to do more videos like this. Because um, they're just fun for me to do. And um, I think it gives opportunity for different people to experience different things with my channel. I like to provide like, you know, multiple levels of content and um, while my, you know, expertise is beauty related, makeup related, um, I definitely like to do more like life experience and um, things that you guys want to see. So don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, please leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. And until next time, See you guys later. Bye.